Forty-five Camden 8th grade students enjoyed a day of professional networking that most executives can only dream about during Career Connections Day for the Rutgers Future Scholars Program in Camden. Naima Watson, the administrative director for the Rutgers Camden Center for Children and Childhood Studies, says the program helps the students learn what skills they need to develop to be successful in college. The Rutgers Future Scholars Program is an initiative started by our president, Dick McCormick, in 2008 in an attempt to bring more students from the school districts where the campuses reside. So this initiative works with schools school students from Camden City School District, Leap University Charter School, and the school districts in Newark, New Brunswick, and Piscataway, trying to offer them opportunities to higher education. These are students who just transitioned from the seventh grade into the eighth grade this year, so prior to this they probably didn't have a lot of information on college access, what you need to do to prepare for college, how you need to stay on point academically, so what we try to do here is offer them that guidance and making sure they maintain their grades, get any additional academic support they need, to maintain their achievement and help them understand what the transition to higher education will be like for them. Susquehanna Bank's Delaware Valley President Joseph Litza says the bank considers the program extremely important. It's a role that we feel very strongly about. Uh, we've been involved for, I guess, about a year now. And uh, part of our function was to support the, um, the um, mentoring program and uh, try to cover some of, the, uh, some of the costs that were associated with getting the program started and, uh, and handling that period when the students have just entered the program in their, in their eighth grade uh, and then moving through the, uh, through the high school years until they go into, uh, into college. And so our role is to fund and support that portion of the program. Professor Gail Porter of Rutgers explained the program. Well, today's program is specifically focused on careers. The future scholars go through a number of different events on campus here uh, while they're in school, eighth grade through finishing high school. Uh, this particular event is to get them thinking about business careers, remind them about why they need to stay serious about school, staying in school, doing well in school, so they can join us here on our campus as college students in a few years. They've each had a chance to sit down at a table with several different companies to talk to about careers in those companies, jobs in those companies, and we will also be taking students on tours today of some major employers in Camden. And so they go away with not only understanding a little bit more about the business school on this campus, but also what it is that the business school is preparing people for in terms of a career. After the breakfast and roundtable discussions, the students split up into four groups to visit local businesses in the Camden community. One group visited the Susquehanna Bank branch in the Victor Building in Camden near the waterfront to learn about banking career opportunities in greater detail from bank manager Josue Figueroa and his team. And the approach that we have is relationship driven. Any bank can open up checking or savings accounts, but what we're looking to do is to establish relationships with customers in order to know what their needs are and then be able to match up solutions with those needs. After giving students a brief tour of the branch, Figueroa talked about the bank's role in the local Camden community. Susquehanna Bank as a branch here has been in Camden for a year and a half just after the company moved their divisional headquarters from the suburbs here to Camden and as a Camden resident uh, that was born and reared here being able to participate in this program is unique to me so that we can give back to the community through education and through providing exposure for students to learn about a new trade or something different for them. I think one thing is just to be able to describe what banking is beyond just being checking or savings accounts and to depict for them all of the nuances related to business banking, related to the importance of credit, the importance of being financially literate and them knowing that even at this young age they can begin to formulate financial goals for themselves because pretty soon they might be thinking of that first car or that first credit card and just to make sure that the seeds are planted as early as possible so they can make the best financial decisions in the future. Figueroa also mentioned the economic development he's seen in Camden over the past several years. Yes, yeah, certainly a lot of uh, talk about additional development, uh, whether it be we look at the success that the branch has had, uh, not the branch, but Camden has had in terms of the development on the waterfront. So the Camden River Sharks at Campbell's Field, the Cooper Ferry Terminal Building where our divisional headquarters is, the expansion of the Adventure Aquarium, the Children's Garden, the Battleship, the Susquehanna Bank Center, there has been a lot on the waterfront. And what we're looking to do is to take banking into the community 
through financial literacy workshops that we either give to students at schools or to parents at different centers. After the bank branch visit, the students went to the headquarters of Susquehanna Bank on the river in Camden, where they role-played a scenario about bank lending with bank senior executives in retail and commercial banking. After a brief discussion there, the students returned to the Rutgers campus for a wrap-up and a check presentation by Susquehanna Bank. We think that education is the key. When we look at places like Camden, uh, we see a great deal of opportunity, and the opportunity lies in the young people getting the education that they need to move on into a more fulfilling life and, and actually break some of the generational cycle of uh, difficulty that they've experienced uh, and, and perhaps their families have experienced. So we think that one of the truest ways up is, is education, and that's why we're so enthusiastic about it.